Uh, hi, I'm Sharon Purcell and um, I've been housed now in this building for seven years. As a woman on my own, it was probably one of the most crushing experiences to be homeless and all that kind of thing and being on your own and and I didn't have um, many people to nurture or support me in that. Um, when Karen approached me to do the art at the Gold Coast office, that was quite a turning point because it was like I felt like, you know, my, for the first time like my housing wasn't insecure anymore and I relaxed and then You've, you've met my cat Bentley <laughs> and that's when I knew a year ago like you know I'm I've come a long way but it was nice not to live with all that stuff that had um, happened but then with Karen um, ringing and asking me to do the, the one down here that to me was great because I didn't have a piece of art in my backyard and those two paintings were painted here on the Gold Coast so um, I was so pleased with that and then from there I started to because it we had to pull it together quite well like quite quickly so between Callie and Graham um, Graham is our chaplain of the building and Callie is our property manager we just worked so well together first time I'd ever framed any of my art and like everything just worked so well so it was an experience that brought me out mm -hmm sort of thing. So from there to where I'm at now, I've now just finished this, um, an exhibition with the Commonwealth Games and then from there um, I've had um, a collaboration now with a laser artist which is um, taking my art and putting it say on granite or something like that and I'm also invited to do a couple of workshops at a Kumara Art Cultural Centre. So. Um, you know, with this now where I'm at, it's like I'm at that point now where I'm updating my copyright and I'm looking at my insurances and I'm taking care of business. Here, the difference was here was that um, it it was it was safe. There was that real safeness here. You know, like once you closed your door, it was like I really liked that that was safe so if anything I probably spent the first two years just going well thank goodness it's quiet and it's nice and it's lovely and I don't have to think too much yeah so from there that's when I started buying some new paints and sort of setting up my home so that you know I'm um, appreciating myself because that was a part of me that I stopped appreciating that's where um, you know I kind of everything came back and it was like, wow, you know, like I'm not frightened about being moved. I'm not frightened about, you know, mucking up myself and all those sort of things were in, in place. So since then, like now I've like, I've even pulled out art that I've put away that I didn't want to see. So, um, you know, I had to go through a period of getting used to seeing it again. I can paint because I've got a home, you know, like I've got somewhere to, to sit down and go, Oh, you know, like, and I can leave it out if I want, and you know, and it's also to, um, it, it's, um, it's not a frustration for me to start something and not have it finished, you know. So I'm not having to, like, you know, share with someone or live with someone or worry about someone coming in here and doing stuff, you know. I can come home, walk straight over to my desk, pull out my paintbrush, and just paint. But um, the honest truth is I'm very grateful, you know, to say, you know, it's been such a lovely journey, but at the end of the day, like, I've got such a nice future ahead of me. That's and lovely. That's been one of the things that is the worst thing, that when you're homeless mm. and then when you do find yourself housed and then you, if, if you feel threatened under your housing again because you don't have the coping skills and... Um, it's been such a difference to have the solid seven years of property management now in this building and um, and it makes such a difference when there is, a, um, like I say, there's an equality that I've come to know that kind of, you know, I'm 56 years old and it's only been in the last few years that I've, especially since the paintings went in up at Gold Coast and like I say, a lot of mending of the fences.